Hey gang, let's talk about alternative technologies, all right? So in this super quick lecture, we're going to talk about a few things that you may uh, not have heard of or things that you heard of but didn't know what the hell they were. All right, first thing we're going to talk about is virtualization. So virtualization allows you to simulate actual devices and networks, right? So you can have virtual laptops, virtual PCs, virtual servers, uh, ger uh, gerbil, what the hell? <laughs> virtual uh, cell phones, so on and so forth, right? The main purpose, or one of the purposes of virtualization is to practice, right? So just like the little guy in his car, he can learn how to drive a car safely in this virtual simulated environment. OK, so he's simulating driving down the street, right? If he crashes into a car or runs over a cone or does donuts in the middle of the street, he doesn't worry about uh, hurting anybody, getting arrested or anything like that. So that's the same thing with virtual devices. If you corrupt them, if you delete the wrong thing, if you put a virus on it, it won't actually affect anything. It's just a virtual machine. All you would have to do is erase it and start over again. Right. Another thing or another advantage of virtualization is that instead of having to buy physical components, you can actually just create a virtual switch or a virtual router or a virtual server or a virtual PC. And you can actually use that virtual PC as a real PC. Going all the way back just to make sure I didn't lose anybody, make sure nobody passed out and had a seizure. Uh, virtualization, simply put, is just a simulated um, device. That's all it is. Whether it's a cell phone, laptop, router, server, you name it. It is a virtual digital form of an actual device. And you can use it in place of a physical device or you can use it for testing and simulation. All right. Next up, cloud computing. So when somebody says they save it, they save it to the cloud or it's in the cloud, right? Um, what they're talking about is servers, all right? Servers that aren't located wherever you are, right? So there's a bunch of different cloud services. We got uh, Google Drive, um, we got uh, SkyDrive, OneDrive, Dropbox, um, a bunch of different services for cloud computing, right? All cloud computing is is that you can save your data, you can save your information in the cloud which is a server that's located elsewhere. All right, let's say I'm in Chicago and I'm just saving my data uh, to a server that's in Alaska. All right, I don't know where the server's at, probably don't care, probably never even thought that deep into it, right? And the purpose of that is that as long as I have an internet connection, I still have access to that data on the server that's in Alaska. All right, so that's what Google Drive is. It's a bunch of servers located other than where you're at and you don't have physical access to it, but you always have access to it as long as you have an internet connection. All right, so cloud computing, it's almost like you're pulling it out the sky. I don't know where it's at, I don't know where it's coming from, but now you do, all right? So the cloud is just referring to servers that are elsewhere that you don't have physical access to, but the good thing is that you can actually save stuff, upload stuff, put stuff on those servers to retrieve later on or to work on later on. So, small tidbit of advice, don't put anything that you don't want your mama to see on the cloud. Because remember that you don't have physical access, right? So, um, if you got some, some weird pictures or videos or anything like that, it's probably not a good idea to put those on the cloud. That's how a lot of celebrities, um, you know, kind of got hacked and some stuff got out that they probably didn't want anybody to see, right? Sounds good. So today, that's all we're going to talk about. Virtualization and cloud computing. As always, um, it was good to see you. See you in the next lecture. Follow us and subscribe on Instagram, YouTube, like us on Facebook, tweet us, and follow the podcast. If you're looking for A+, Net+, Security+, CDH, CCNA, or Career Coaching, head over to icmagicky.com and enroll in the course. Now, Lynette, I'll see you in class.